just 24 miles east of Las Vegas. Lake Mead has grabbed people's attention for many different reasons. This reservoir formed by the Hoover Dam is split between the states of Nevada and Arizona, and in terms of water capacity, Lake Mead is the largest reservoir in the US. It's a natural source that brings water to around 20 million people in the nearby communities, as well as to the large areas of farmland in this part of the world. But the lake is more than just a robust source of energy, it's also a source of recreation for Americans and any visitor that comes this far. In fact, the National Park Service recognizes the lake as the first national recreation area in the US. And over the last couple of years, many sinister and seemingly disconnected events have occurred around this lake. As drought and other natural disasters hit our planet, Lake Mead has suffered the consequences of harsh weather conditions and has become famous not due to its importance as a reservoir or a recreational space. But instead, it's become a famous body of water where dead people have started to show up as the lake begins to dry up. In just a matter of months, the whereabouts of dead people who have been missing for decades have been found on the shores of the lake. And as the water levels keep getting lower, people expect to find even more dead bodies on the shoreline. One of the earliest records of Lake Mead as the center of attention happened in the late 1940s when a B-29 Boeing plane crashed while testing a prototype missile guidance system. However, the years passed and this aircraft along with two other small ones just became part of a memory that can be found at the bottom of this lake. But many decades later, well into the start of the 21st century in 2011, the body of a dead man appeared by the lake. The body was immediately pulled out, and soon enough, authorities identified him as a boater who had gone missing a couple of days before the finding. The mystery was quickly solved, and things went back to normal. But no one imagined that this was just the first of many more bodies to appear in the coming years. Eleven years later though, in May of 2022, Las Vegas police reported the finding of a body inside a metal barrel along the lake's receding shoreline. To everyone's surprise, this body belonged to a man who had been shot more than 30 years ago. In fact, the man was wearing some sneakers that were sold and manufactured by the almost defunct Kmart that was popular in the mid to late 1970s. A thorough investigation, however, quickly determined that this body had been the victim of a death by gunshot, and not just any gunshot. It was the type of crime that most likely involved the Mafia. After all, the Las Vegas Strip had notoriously been dominated by mobs around the time in which this person was killed. Now, they just had to figure out who this person was. Meanwhile, just six days after the body in the barrel was found, another dead body was found on the northwestern side of Lake Mead, in an area called Colville Bay. And it all happened when two sisters were paddle boarding in the lake. Definitely a discovery that they're never going to forget. However, within one week, two different bodies had been found in a lake that had been slowly losing its water. But this was just the beginning. Weeks later, in the hot month of July in 2022, another body was found in the Swim Beach area of Boulder City, Nevada. This time, the authorities had a hard time figuring out the cause of death. And less than a month later, more human remains were found around the same area. The receding waters of the lake just kept shining more light on the dark scenarios that took the lives of so many people. However, finding answers to these many deaths was not easy for the authorities because the human remains were in advanced stages of decomposition and it was not easy to extract DNA from them. It seemed like only the body in the barrel had a clear explanation attached to it. Anytime you have a body in a barrel, clearly there was somebody else involved, said Lieutenant Jason Johansson, who was one of the authorities involved in trying to find answers to these cases. The cases kept piling up, but the first discovery from 2022 was the one that kept grabbing the attention of authorities and while they still didn't know all the answers, they were almost convinced that the mafia had been involved. 
Soon enough, though, a woman named Barbara Brock came forward and claimed that the remains of the body were most likely those of her mother, Bobby, who had been missing since 1977. Surely enough, Barbara admitted that Bobby had been part of the Nevada Mafia that used casinos and resorts for money laundering purposes. And while Barbara was getting ready to provide DNA samples and contribute to the investigation, more answers on another case began to become clear. Through DNA analysis, reports from the original incident, and investigative information, it was quickly determined that the man who was found by the paddleboarding sisters was Thomas Ernt, a loving father who had drowned 20 years ago. And that person now has been identified as 42-year-old Thomas Ernt from Las Vegas. Ernt drowned in Lake Mead 20 years ago on August 2nd of 2002. This finding seemed to finally bring some closure to a man who had spent more than half of his life trying to figure out what had happened to his father. The man's name was Tom, just like his father. Unfortunately though, he and his sister Tina had lost their father during a midnight swim. He's definitely trying to sort through how he feels about it all. He was a great dad. I'm, I miss him every day and it's been hard. Tom Ernt was just 10 years old when his father went missing. And for a kid who had suddenly lost his father, who was also a single dad, answers were finally starting to become clear. I mean, of course, it's going to definitely close a big chapter just knowing that he's at peace now and, you know, after so long. Tom was lucky enough to find the answers he was looking for. However, the other cases didn't seem to bring closure or clarity to anyone. Instead, more bodies kept showing up. At around the same time though that Thomas Ernt was identified, a third dead body was found around the swim beach area. It was the third time of the year that they found a body in the same location, and the fifth time in the year that a body was found in the lake. And to get that body, the Las Vegas police's diving team had to get involved. Up until today, most of these cases remained unsolved. The authorities just kept collecting bodies and trying to get answers from bodies that are likely to have turned into a soap-like consistency known as adipose here is proving to be almost impossible. The truth is that Lake Mead was always a dangerous place, way before the dropping water levels began to be a problem. In fact, the lake was considered one of America's deadliest national parks at some point, and just recently, in October of 2022, a woman was reported missing, and later it was discovered that she died after drowning at the lake. Up until today, around 300 different people have drowned in this lake since it was first created in the 1930s, and that number doesn't include people who died in other circumstances, such as the person in the barrel who was probably murdered. Steve Chafer, one of the local people working to uncover the bodies, is convinced that there are hundreds of bodies waiting to be found in this infamous lake. However, nothing seems to stop his mission to give back to the families who lost their relatives. With the help of volunteers, Schaefer works hard to get answers for them. He said, There are a lot of bodies which have still not been found at the bottom of Lake Mead. Most are just legitimately drowning victims, but I'm sure there are some nefarious ones out there, said Schaefer. Meanwhile, other people have used these events as a way to jumpstart a business opportunity. A week after the body in the barrel was found, a witchcraft store in Las Vegas started selling, and I quote, Lake Mead corpse water, which apparently came from the crime scene itself. But Charlie Hanks, the person who came up with this idea, was quick to say that the water she was selling did not come from the lake. She just thought it was an entertaining way to bring some light into a dark situation. We all have heard the rumors of bodies being dumped in Lake Mead by the mob back in the day, and I'm sure there's other people that dump bodies there, just like most lakes. Um, but for the most part, I think that our history can lend some learning in this day and age. Ultimately though, she claimed that she never wanted to make fun of the people who suffered due to these cases. Those people, their families and loved ones probably miss them and want to know what happened to them. What I'm making light of is the darker history of Vegas.
she said. And it seems like Charlie's efforts and creativity paid off because more than a dozen orders were placed on her website after she displayed this interesting product online. Today though, the waters of Lake Mead just seem to keep receding, but besides the skeletons and human remains, some interesting things are coming to light as well. Just recently, some sedimentary rocks that hadn't been seen in almost 100 years were discovered as well. There is no doubt that Lake Mead is full of many different secrets, but all we can do is hope that the families of the missing people find the closure that they've been searching for for so long.